Here we have a 2014 Mercedes-Benz GL550. And if you're looking to get at the washer fluid reservoir, you'll find it right underneath the inner fender lining uh, on the driver's side. So once you have the fender lining removed with just a couple screws and a couple pull tabs um, littered kind of throughout the uh, exterior as well as one big one right up at the top there, you'll expose the reservoir, which is pretty wild. Uh, we've got, you know, your typical sensor, your normal pump, but then at the top, there is uh, another kind of access point that runs two lines. These aren't actually for the washer fluid, it's to heat it. And this system runs off of the coolant system for the car, as you can see, it runs up from the bottom through this um, valve or possibly a, an electric pump, then down off that line into the tank, heating up the washer fluid and then back out and into the system again through the top. So it's a very interesting setup. Thought I'd give you guys an idea of what it looks like, uh, what you're dealing with if you're running into any leaks, maybe any antifreeze leaks that are mixing with your washer fluid. This this could be a, a, an issue, an area of an issue anyway. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys. Good luck with your project and have a great day.